Look at that. Can oh, you tell the wiggly legs. What are we doing tomorrow? I don't want to cut it. I thought you did want to cut it. I don't want to cut it. You're giving me mixed signals here, man. So originally you were telling me you wanted short hair like Gramps, short hair like Uncle Kyle, short hair like Daddy. And then, you know, if you have short hair, we don't have to brush it every morning. We don't have to wash it every night. We don't have to brush it in the shower. <laughs> Come here, my beautiful Rapunzel boy. You're so beautiful. <laughs> You're so beautiful. <laughs> Good morning from the morning. Tills family. Okay, I have a confession. I still haven't technically changed my last name, but I got okay. myself this necklace. It says Tills. You guys are all Tillses. You brush my hair? Yeah, we did brush your hair last night. But what are we doing right now? <laughs> oh, that was Good lovely. Morning. That was so nice. Thank you. You're my best friend, Mom. You're my best friend. Thank you. Excuse me? Are we having a moment? Thank you. Oh my <laughs> goodness. I love you. Anyway, we were up every two hours cluster feeding, but I'm still grateful that we're home and not in hospital because you know the whole schmozzle that was the last two weeks of our life. But right now, we're going to the park. I'm starving. I need to get a coffee. I want to walk here. You want to walk in? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're pretty. You're pretty strong, man. Show me your muscles. Go. Three, two, one. Muscles. Oh my goodness. Why are you on your toes? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> is it funny? Is it? I want to walk here. Okay. I got big muscles. Go, muscle man. Uh, Big push, yeah, nice, yeah, the boys. Gosh, the chaos. Ah. Oh, this is what true family life is with two kids and a dog. <laughs> Whose idea was it to bring <laughs> all three? Go, Foxy, go. I need money, rolls. I didn't bring oh, my wallet. What the heck, man? Sugar money. <laughs> Sugar daddy, please. What did you, What'd you get? Thank you. Is it good? Okay. Don't you remember? I need your wallet. Are you Buzz Light, you? Fox, you're not meant to go. The chaos has slowed down now that they both run away. I don't feel like this is real life at the moment because Kurt and I are like separate ships. Like I'm in our room with Malachi living newborn life and Kurt is upstairs with Fox teaching him to love his new room upstairs. So I just feel like we're living different lives. I'm in newborn life, you're in toddler life. Yeah. Hello. We need to change your name to Dennis. No. Dennis the Menace. No, yeah. Eo, that's your name. <laughs> no, no, this isn't cool B-roll because they ran out of avocado. What the heck, man? All I wanted was avocado hey, on toast. Is, I love when the toast is cooked like that, though. Yeah, I know, but imagine if that was avocado. Yes, he does want to feed. You're having your breakfast. He wants his breakfast. As soon as there's silence and peace, there's power tools, toddler power tools. Yeah, in like an hour, we're going to go up the street and get Fox's first haircut ever. I'm in two minds about it. On one side, I know it has to be done because like we cannot keep spending an hour negotiating the trauma that is brushing his hair, washing his hair. Like we've tried everything from detanglers, different brushes, different star charts. Like Kurt has obviously been helping me so much and has pretty much had Fox full time since I gave birth to Malachi because yeah, Malachi and I have been in hospital basically half of his life. We were in hospital a week after he was born and and then we were at home for like five days and then we went back into hospital because he had RSV, which is a virus. Quick recap on Malachi, he still has a cough. He's a little bit mucusy, but he doesn't have a temperature. He doesn't have breathing problems and his oxygen levels were fine. So that's why we could come home. Anyway, yeah, it's been like full on with Kurt and I are like ships passing in the night. Kurt has Fox, I have Malachi and we just like 
it doesn't feel like real life at the moment like I don't feel like we have a balance we don't have obviously we don't have a routine but like I don't feel like we're living our normal life at the moment because we're kind of just like surviving I'm so anxious I'm so anxious for Kurt to go back to work because obviously I have to go back to work as well but I have scheduled myself two months maternity leave which I still have to do some meetings and stuff like that but I wanted to be at home just with the boys but I'm really nervous to have both of them by myself because Fox is a very full on toddler and personality. He requires a lot of attention, just a lot of negotiation. I think it's number one, his personality, and number two, being the firstborn and like an only child kind of thing. He just, we negotiate a lot. Anyway, we've made the decision that it's time to cut his hair. I'm gonna cry. Like you guys know his hair is like his identity. It's like so much of his personality and his look, like, I don't know. So I'm, I'm in two minds, whether we do like a short little bob kind of cut, or do we do like a full Justin Bieber short sides, like long floppy mop at the top I don't know yeah I'm really gonna do better at vlogging from now on like I don't feel guilty for not vlogging the first part of Malachi's life because we were in hospital and I was just surviving but I really love documenting this for you guys and also for myself because it's so fun to look back on when he was so little because I'm gonna blink I'm gonna blink and he's gonna be three you know but yeah yesterday Fox was keen to cut his hair he was like excited and now he's like doesn't want to do it. Anyway, we'll see you when we go up the street for that adventure. Okay, Fox has his first ever hair appointment in about half an hour. So I'm going to try and wake him up with in one of his, manner. in a happy manner, with one of his favorite songs. I just want to see how he reacts to it though. He's not going to be happy. ACDC loves it. <laughs> Good morning. Is that a nice way to be woken up? We're sad. It's gonna be real fun though, okay? Gonna be the best time ever. Fail. We're getting scissors and clippers. My barber was sick today and he forgot to mention to me. Okay, so we did all the prep to get Fox ready for this haircut. We rock up to the barber, it's closed. He's not there. So now we're in Priceline in totally the wrong aisle. You guys, why are you following me? Don't follow me. So now we're at Priceline trying to buy scissors because classic Kurt, he doesn't want to be patient. He wants to do it himself. And I said, fine, I can, I can cut a short bob. Like we've all done it to our own hair, to our sister's hair, but he wants to do that full Justin Bieber cut. I'm like, I don't know how to do that. You don't know how to do that. I think we should just do a bob, not the Justin Bieber. No, nah, we're doing Justin Bieber. This is the vibe we're going for. I have got approval from the customer earlier on. What do you reckon? No. Why, what do you want? You want it shorter than that? Like daddy. Shorter like daddy's? Yeah. Okay. Look, do you oh, reckon he'll look, look cool? cool? I don't like it, I want daddy No, hair. you're gonna look sick, bro. Yeah. All right, we'll do it like that. You the same as daddy's hair, yeah, that's right. We'll do it like dad's. Yeah. You're gonna look like Jai, Dad, Gramps, Brenton, everyone. We're looking to look like one of the boys. No, the boys. Say, okay, welcome to the boy club. How to cut kids' boy hair long. If you don't know how to do anything, you just see. YouTube see, she's, she's got the fade going there. This is going to be traumatic and exciting yeah, so at the I'm same go time. Get a comb. Oh, look at that! This is the before. Let's oh. cut my hair. Oh my god, are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, let's I'm do it. Boy. You are a big boy. That's right. Are you excited? Yeah, they're so excited. I'm not playing. I you want your lollipop eyes <laughs> Of course, and we're gonna have pizza for dinner. Yeah. Put my hair on. <laughs> Across the face like that. Are we doing it? I'm in love with an emo girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, let me, let me, let me get this line first. No, this is UGLY. I think we need to do a bob. I think we need to do a bob. We need to do a bob. I'm freaking out. We need to do a bob. Just remember, it'll be like, like it'll be messy sort of in the face, like when we just trim it above his eye line. Hey, buddy. I'm on dad and camera duties right now. All right, get it happening, and say one fine swift cut right now. Cut it. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, go, 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 go. You can do it, you can do it, just cut it. Come on, come on. Why are you crying? Are you really crying? Mom's crying. Don't cry. Do you really want to cut it? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Are you actually crying? Cut it. Say, come on, mum. Cut it, cut sure? it, yeah. cut it. Okay, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and two postpartum for this. This is the hair this that was in my womb. Three years in the making, that. <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh my goodness, Fox. Fox. Yeah. <laughs> 
You reckon? On Brenton Hill. You want Brenton Hill, okay. Yeah. I want Daddy to do it. You want Dad to do it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we almost had a few tears with me and Sarah then. Had a few mishaps, but we're doing well. We're gonna try and shave it most of the way around. Oh, it actually looks sick, man. Okay, ready? What do you reckon? Mate, it looks so good. You look cool, man. Good. All right, it actually looks so <laughs> sick on camera. Like, the fade looks good and all. Should we open a barber shop? <laughs> no way, that took us way too long. And I swear we almost ended our relationship. Okay, wait, yeah, we nearly, got, we nearly got a divorce. But, like, you look so good. Oh, you want to get a photo? Okay, ready? Oh, you look so, so good. good. I like my hat. I like it. it. I think so it looks good, good, man. You like the back? Feel the back of it. Feel it. Does that feel funny? <laughs> it's my one chance to chat to you guys and do this outro. It's two weeks later. Life has been absolute chaos. Now, look, I'm not going to lie. I do feel a little bit weird about like uploading a vlog that's pretty much based around cutting Fox's hair. As you could probably tell by me crying, it was like such a major moment. Yeah, I never understood people saying like cutting their kid's hair for the first time was like a big deal, but that was his first haircut ever. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys some before and after photos because that's like the best part of any transformation. So here is what his hair was like before we cut it obviously and then next to it is what it looks like now and he honestly could not be happier he loves his haircut every morning he wakes up and looks at it and like feels the back and it's all spiky and just for like even our lifestyle and our morning routine it is it was the best thing we could have done it just has bought us so much time has saved us so many arguments and tantrums and Fox is just super happy about it yeah like I said I do feel a little bit weird of just like that was like the main part of the vlog because Mal Malachi and Fox are the center of my life. Also Kurt, we love Kurt. But just being a mom, especially a mom of two now, my boys are just everything to me. I'm not going to become a family vlog channel. Like the boys are obviously a part of my vlogs, but I just don't ever want my videos to be centered around my kids. So this is kind of like an anomaly, just something a little bit different. But yeah, like moving forward and what I'll continue to do, this is the Sarah's Day channel. And I just want to make sure, you know, I'm protecting them and you know, you they can be featured and you guys see them all the time but yeah I just don't want my kids to be content you know so yeah obviously they're in my vlogs because they're with me all the time but just moving forward the vlogs will kind of not go back to normal but like they'll be back to like Sarah's day stuff of like you know in two weeks I potentially get to go back to training so I'll be vlogging all of that like how my fitness is gonna go and how I'm eating and I have so much to update you guys on also we might be going on a family holiday but we'll see about that but yeah I just thought this was a really nice video to share with you guys and a pretty big moment for Fox and our family and I know even Fox will like to look back and watch this one so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm really excited to be back vlogging and like back in real time because I know that obviously since I gave birth I gave myself a few weeks off until I uploaded the birth video the boys meeting and even this video so from now on you guys are going to be more up to date with what's going on in real time but yeah if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up give it a like and make sure you subscribe because i upload new videos every single week it has been so long since i did that outro but i will see you guys in my next video which is a mummy makeover because this is me and i'm okay with that but sometimes i just want to look a little bit fancy bye